Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop in here and kind of show you guys the exact process on how you can actually put the the C name, the MIX, and the other th other things in the Instantly AI. Um, so this is very impromptu because I just figured out how to do it myself. So let's just get right into it. So. We're going to start at the very beginning. Um, so this is the first one I added. So you're going to click Add New. Okay. And I'm going to be doing this with a Gmail account. Okay. And this is going to be with a business Gmail account. So I don't exactly know how to do it with something like a personal Gmail account, which ends with whatever at gmail.com. But this is going to be something that's more um, business oriented. So if you go to Google Domains, and you create a domain, then when you create the domain, it's gonna offer you the chance to make an email, and that's where you make it. So, so um, let's just do that real quick. So if I go here, and I go back, so get a new domain. So this is where I would make a domain. So if I said like popcorn, Popcorn is nice. Okay, popcorn is nice. Perfect. Okay. So I click this, add to cart. And so this is where you register it. Boom, keep all of this on, auto renew, cool. And this is where you add the custom email, okay? So you click that, usually I go with business starter. And this is where you're gonna get something like that's branded, right? And then you're gonna enter your first name, last name, and then the name that you want before the email. Um, this can be something like user, support. I like to put my name personally, so I just go like that. And have the email that it will be sent to right there. And you buy that, but I already have that bought, so we're gonna go on to the next step. So, next, we're gonna uh, open Gmail, click the gear in the right corner, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my new account. And to sign into your new account, just go to the recovery address that you put in before. And it will have a sign into your new account along with the password to do that. So. We're gonna go here, see all settings, click that. And we go to forwarding pop in IMAP. And we enable IMAP, save changes. Perfect. Okay. And so that's done. Cool. And we're gonna do O authorization. I'm pretty sure this is for available for accounts that are um, something gmail.com and I'm not sure how that works. So we're just gonna do it for G Suite Okay, so this is where we're gonna go to the admin panel. So um, Just type in admin at google.com Okay, and then you're gonna sign in with the email that You're gonna be like using to warm the email. So for this new one, I'm gonna use this and then I'm going to sign in. Cool. Cool. So I'm in my account. Now, this is one of the most annoying steps, and it took me a long time to find. So right here, move myself over. Okay, right here, you're going to click Show More. Click Security. Click Access and Data Control. API controls and then you're going to click manage third party access. Okay. And this is where you're you're going to see the actual ad app, the thing that I couldn't find for I don't know, hours. So, click add app OAuth. Okay. And see click add app client ID. Copy this, copy. Boom. Oh, sorry, right here. Control C. Search. 
should pop up with this select it check mark it select and trust it configure bam just like that and log in we're gonna log in with it cool perfect so now it's connecting so I like to en enable one up right when I get here and custom tracking domain now this is one of the most annoying things and it took me the longest okay so be advised when you create a new domain and this is super important the first time it always it always has to be a dot com it can't be dot net it can't be dot co it can't be anything else it has to be dot com that's at least what worked for me and if anyone has a different experience please shout it out but it has to be dot com for this to work all right so this is you can use google domains so go back to google domains and you're going to find all your domains okay so i'm going to click the domain i want to manage click manage then click dns okay and this is where you're going to enter enter the information so uh, manage custom records so the first thing you're going to put is underscore d mark and it doesn't really say this you have to search around but just trust me on this um so underscore d mark and then sometimes i think for some email providers it actually adds the like the address automatically um which it did for me but i think you you definitely have to have what your um actual site is your domain is okay type text oh, sorry um type text and then you're gonna enter just this this exact thing and you can find this on the google admin so admin help uh, you can take a look at this page add your d mark record and this is just an example so you're going to be using your um your actual domain so this so you do dmark at your domain sorry so it'd be your domain dot com okay so i'm just gonna erase that for me and um, cancel okay and the second thing and the thing that actually gets this is the c name so you're gonna go back here you're gonna type in inst and it automatically adds the domain then you're going to select CNAME 360 and then you're going to paste in exactly what they have here right here okay and yeah and you just save that boom and perfect so now I type in inst dot uh, my domain so winter less clients clients dot com and click enter and it checks that is and that should allow it to be verified if you did every step correctly Boom, and it usually takes a while for that SSL to um, to become active. But that's a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I did it, and I'm sure there are other methods for like GoDaddy and other domain managers. But that's what I use specific specifically for Google domains without having to go to the cloud and everything else. But thank you so much.